hello guys do you want a text editor that you can use to bold your text italicize it underline it add bullets to the text and do a lot of stuff with it if you watch this video you are going to learn how to add this text editor to your project so let's dive in for this project we are going to need some packages so let me open my terminal then install one of the package that we are going to need for the project I'm going to type in npm install Jodit. Sorry, Jodit React. And I also need HTML React Parser. Then save. Now hit on enter. so let's wait for it to install the packages are finished installing let's check it in our package.json you can see them right here is the jodit react and the html react pass let's enter our app.ajsx and start to work but before we start that i'm going to start the application so i'm going to type in npm run dev okay the app is now running it's running on this on our local host now let me open the application in our browser okay the application is now running in our browser this is what is running and it is what is running there so let's start with our let's start with our main let's start with the main purpose of this video now so i'm going to import use state use ref to we are going to make use of these hoops use memo from react then i'll also import jodit editor from Jodit React which we installed earlier and also HTML React parser from HTML React parser. So these are the three things that we need to import. So let's declare some variables here. First, editor equal to use ref. No. Then I'm going to set a state for content. So content set content should be equal to use states and I'll leave let's leave it empty. So this is all we need for now. So let me add the editor here now we're going to use jodit editor then passing some properties which the properties we are going to pass the first one will be ref ref then the value will be uh, ref will be equal to editor then we'll use also value which will be equal to content then on change on change just pay attention to this on change new content we're going to use the function then 
set content equal to new content. So they are changed now. The value of anything we type into our editor, as in this new value now will represent any new any value anything that we type into our editor then we will set the state of our content to the new content let's save and check our browser now i've saved it let's save it let me refresh my browser uh, you can see look at the editor here now let's type in hello you can see it's not working. Let me go hello world. Sorry, what am I doing? Hello world. You can see it's bold. Let me select the hello, then italicize it, then select the word underline. You can do a lot of things with this. You can add bullets. You can even add a table, change the, you can justify the write up and do a lot of things. Let's output what you are typing here at the bottom of our, so here now, so D, and in here, we just display the value of content. Let's check it out now. As you can see, look at the HTML tags for everything that is displaying here. Once our output should be showing to be rendered, instead of showing the HTML tags, instead of showing this raw HTML data. So we are going to make use of our HTML React parser now. That's why we installed the package. So here, I'll clean this button, HTML React Passer. Sorry, my this thing covered the page. This notification, all these notifications covered what I was typing. What you can see, HTML React Passer, then type in the name of the variable, which is content, then save. As you can see, it's displaying the same thing now. In the next video, I'll show you how to add image to your, how to insert image to your text. So that's the next thing we are going to do in the next video. So bye, have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified immediately I drop the next video.